Experiment 2. Deet Synthesis. Begin by assembling an apparatus for addition under reflux. This will include your Claisen adapter, your addition separation funnel, and then your condenser. To your 100 mL round bottom flask equipped with a stir bar, you're going to begin by adding 30 mL of your m toluic acid, followed by 2.6 mL of your thionyl chloride. Reattach the round bottom to your reaction apparatus. Gently warm the round bottom to reflux for 20 minutes with stirring. Then cool the reaction in an ice water bath. This is your preparation of your m toluyl chloride. Now we're going to prepare your diethylamine solution. Add 35 ml of 3 molar sodium hydroxide into your Erlenmeyer flask. Chill the flask in an ice water bath for 5 minutes. Then add 25 ml of diethylamine hydrochloride to your sodium hydroxide solution. Do this in small portions with swirling or manual stirring in between. Then you're going to add 0.1 grams of sodium lauryl sulfate. Transfer this diethylamine solution to your addition funnel using water during the transfer. Now we're going to go back to our m toluyl chloride solution that's prepared and has been sitting in the ice bath. Leave it in the ice bath, still on the apparatus. Then add your diethylamine solution slowly over 5 minutes. It is normal if you observe smoke formation during the addition. Once this is complete, test the pH using your stir rod dipped into your flask and then tapping onto pH paper. If the solution is not yet strongly basic, add more of your 3 molar sodium hydroxide. Then you're going to heat your reaction for 15 minutes. Remove your round bottom flask from the heating mantle and allow to cool to room temperature. Then transfer the solution to your receptory funnel. Recalling the density of ether, you'll realize that the top layer is your organic layer. We're going to extract and then wash three times with 20 ml additions of ether. Shake well after your first addition of ether, remembering to vent periodically. Allow to separate, and then collect the aqueous layer in a labeled flask. Once you've taken off the aqueous layer, pour your organic layer into its own flask. Transfer the aqueous layer back into your receptory funnel, add a fresh 20 ml of ether, shake again, again collect the bottom layer in your aqueous flask. Now combine your organic layers into a single flask. Now we're going to transfer our combined ether washes to our receptory funnel. We're going to wash first with 30 ml of 1 molar hydrochloric acid, collect the bottom layer in your aqueous flask, then wash with 30 ml of saturated sodium chloride. Again, collect the aqueous bottom layer and then transfer your ether wash back to your Erlenmeyer flask. Now we're going to dry your ether over magnesium sulfate to remove any lingering water. Once the water is removed, you're going to gravity filter off the magnesium sulfate from your ether. Filter into a 250 milliliter round bottom flask. We'll then remove the ether from your crude D product by using the red valve. To do this, we're going to attach our round bottom flask and twist the joint. Clamp with your Keck clamp. Check that the venting stopcock is open. Turn on the vacuum until you can hear it. Turn on the rotation and then close the vent line by twisting the stopcock. Once the ether is removed, you'll vent the system, turn off the rotation, and then turn off the vacuum. You're expecting your crude deep product to be an oily residue. Store your crude product in your drawer until next week when you'll purify your product by column chromatography. You're going to begin by setting aside a small portion of your crude deep. Since it's an oil, you can use a glass pipette to dip into the oil and then transfer it to a small test tube. Next, you're going to take a piece of a cotton ball, roll it up, and then insert it into your column. The easiest way to get the cotton ball to plug that opening above the stopcock is to use a hose in your vacuum line and pull a suction on the column until the cotton is blocking your opening. Then you're going to add a small layer of sand until you get to about the widest part of the column. Tap it until the sand is level. You want to keep your layers as flat as possible today when you're loading your column. Now you're going to take about 20 grams of your activated alumina and add hexanes. Sprawl your flask and then transfer this to your column. Next you're going to use hexanes to wash down the sides of the column. This can take a while. 
once the sides are washed down, you're going to add a top layer of sand until you're about a half a centimeter thick. Again, tap the column until your levels are flat. Wash again with hexanes. And then you wait until your hexane solvent has drained and you're just reaching the sand layer. Beginning to load, you need to close this top cock. Add slowly, that way you do not disturb that top layer of alumina and sand. Again, you can use a glass pipette and start transferring the deep oil over. To ensure that you have a thin, even layer of your deep oil on your column, make sure you're pipetting directly onto the sand and not letting it run down the side of the glass column. When loading your crude DEET, you can use hexanes during the transfer. Once your DEET is loaded, open the stopcock and allow your solvent to drain. Once the liquid surface has just disappeared beneath the sand surface, you can fill the column with hexanes. Use a pipette to transfer hexanes until you're about 2 inches from your sand layer. Now you can use a funnel to add your hexanes faster but still be gentle when you're adding so that you do not disturb that top layer of sand. Begin collecting fractions in your large test tube. Fill the test tube about 3 quarters full and then replace with your second test tube. While it's running, spot your first test tube onto a small piece of TLC plate. Check under the UV light that product is actually on the plate and not just solvent. If nothing appears under the UV light, then dispose of that test tube fraction. Keep collecting fractions and checking by TLC until you have something up here. That first test tube to show product by TLC spotting is the one you're going to keep and count as your first fraction. Collect four large test tube fractions and then stop your column. Then you're going to prepare an actual TLC plate. You're going to have your four fractions, your standard, and your crude deep product spotted on this plate. Run the TLC plate using hexanes as your alluent. After running your TLC plate, be sure to circle the products that appear beneath the UV light. You're actually going to continue collecting fractions until you've used 200 mils of hexanes or you're no longer observing product by spotting on the TLC plate and looking under UV light. Combine all your fractions of purified D into a 250 milliliter round bottom flask. Then you're going to evaporate off hexanes on the red fat. Then weigh your purified D. Draw your TLC plate in your notebook be sure to report the RF values and labeled IR and NRs for your lab report. 